Hey guys, it's Kira here and I'm back with another video. This time I'll be drawing on deck dual canvas mode with my Note 10 Plus, but first a little quick unboxing. Once more, I switched out my Note 10 Plus color and I'm so happy that I did. I waited for weeks for this. Um, originally, I had the black version. That's because when I pre-ordered it, um, the Aurora color was not available and I went back again to get it and it was on um, back order. I couldn't get it and it was a hassle to get this. I drove all the way an hour away to another city because I was the only Best Buy that had it or I would have to return this and wait another two weeks just to get this phone and that would have been good because I bought this phone on credit so it would have been a whole hassle so I feel like I'm so lucky so this is another quick unboxing and one thing that I didn't show in my original uh, um, unboxing is like in this box right here there's some more information and that's how I found out that the Note 10 Plus comes with a built-in um, screen protector um, and that's really important because I know some of you guys are asking oh, how, how would this work if I had a screen protector on but no fear Samsung said it right here <laughs> Um, it comes with a built uh, built-in screen protector so you guys don't have to worry and I can faintly see right there and guys this looks so beautiful I'm so excited so let's just get on right into the video and start drawing on this thing and I almost forget the most satisfying part of Ooh, that sound on a brand new device and oh and now let's just turn it off <laughs> I know I unboxed this phone, but this oh, I'm just too excited. Look at this. You guys are gonna see amazing B-roll and stuff for my next couple videos. Ooh, I'm not flipping on myself because it's so reflective. Look at that. Hey guys, we're in speed painting mode and I'm really excited this time. Like this was a more enjoyable drawing experience for me. Like my very first, my last Dex dual canvas mode drawing that I did, I did not enjoy it whatsoever, but this time I did. I don't know, it's because that I'm able to, like since now Dex works with your computer built in, I was able to have my reference and my drawing all in one screen at the same time and I could see the details down below because again, Adobe Sketch does not let you zoom in all the way so that was so frustrating so it was nice to be able to see my reference next to my drawing side by side like I still think Adobe Sketch lacks a lot of feature but this time it was so much better enjoyable experience with the Note 10 with the new Dex mode like I really enjoy this guys and also I tried um, recording in a bunch of different angles to show you guys um, both of them at the same time because I know like just recording from one direction you guys can't probably see this really good so I did try my best this time to get more angles in and so this time I tried to do a photo study and I stick to just the default pencil tool because it's Adobe Sketch it's a really great sketching app like the pressure sensitivity works really well on this it gives you really good pencil texture so I just decided to sketch color um, well I didn't really color I tried to do like light blush shading and um, with this but it was actually a much more better enjoyable experience and halfway throughout this I switch over to my Norris digital pencil I've talked so much about that and because my hands got uncomfortable after a while because for Adobe Sketch I have to put in a lot more pressure in my hands to get my lines to look really really dark so I went over with my Norris pencil because it's a lot more comfortable and Oh man, I really enjoyed drawing on it this time. I still really dislike Adobe Sketch. I really wish Samsung would get other apps to work on this, but the fact that the Note 10 Plus, um, the Dex mode just works without me having to unplug my computer meant that I could have a bunch of different references on the side. And it was so helpful to see them side by side. Um, I really like this setup for me because um, I have a Wacom Cintiq, but it's a standalone computer, so I don't really have it. I don't actually have a drawing tablet for my computer. I still have my old pad tablet that I might do a video comparing drawing this way versus a regular pad tablet way, the advantage and disadvantage, but otherwise I don't really use my computer, my main um, computer to draw. So this was like really nice to have it side by side, especially um, since um, I really don't like the UI of Adobe Sketch. Everything like feels so cramped in. <laughs> 
So when I would like open um, the layers panel and take it out of full screen mode, it was really hard to see my drawing. So I was like so thankful that I could just look up ahead and see it and just, I mainly was looking at my <laughs> monitor when I was drawing. I really didn't really look on my screen as much. I did a little bit, but then, oh man, it was just nice because since this drawing was um, a bit of a photo study, so it was nice to look back and forth. The one thing I wish is I don't know how to flip my canvas on this. I can't rotate. So when I had to draw her hands, the hands looked really weird. I know um, it was really hard because I have to rotate the whole phone and then since it's connected and I'm trying to film. And so to blush, I just made the um, pencil size a, a lot bigger and I just changed the opacity and I added light blush to the nose and I tried to do the cheeks and I really enjoyed that and I went in with the watercolor brush with the hair and I filled it in and I wanted it to be jet black just like the picture but I the the strokes wasn't looking right and made it look too clunky so I just lowered the opacity and then just use it as like a shading layer one thing that I did like about the watercolor is I didn't realize that it spreads like these are like it spreads like real watercolor like if you just drop a drop of a color it just spreads throughout the whole thing i thought that was really nice so uh, <laughs> thanks to to the note 10 plus i think i'm getting a hang of adobe sketch and I, I i did a little bit of shading in the hair and i just lowered the opacity a little bit even though i wanted jet black but I, it just wasn't looking right i had to it took too much time to build up but overall guys this drawing took an hour to do around an hour and it's not my best photo study, but I really am thankful for this feature. If you guys want to know more how to get Dextool Canvas mode set up, watch these video right here. These are my related Dextool Canvas mode video. And check out this playlist for more Note 10 art. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!